Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Petrania Poonswan. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. The man who was seen in a viral video attacking a judge was escorted into a courtroom this morning by six uniformed officers. This begins our top story, sponsored by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. 30-year-old Diaba Redden was ordered to be held without bail. He's facing charges of attempted murder and battery after launching himself at District Judge Mary Kay Holtis. While flanked by the six officers, Redden was wearing orange restraint gloves and a surgical mask. You're being charged with count one, attempt murder, victim 60 years of age or older, a felony. Count two, battery on a protected person resulting in substantial bodily harm, victim 60 years of age or older, a felony. Count three, extortion by threat, a felony. A Las Vegas judge has set a $750,000 bail for the man accused of orchestrating the 1996 slaying of Tupac Shakur. 60-year-old Dwayne Keefe D. Davis has been held in the Clark County Detention Center since his arrest back in September of last year. The judge said that Davis, a one-time gang member, can await trial under house arrest with electronic monitoring if he is able to post bail. The coroner's office identified a woman and her two children killed in a suspected DUI crash in Henderson. 38-year-old Rebecca Post and her two sons, 6-year-old Achilles Quintanilla and 5-year-old Leo Post Quintanilla, died after their vehicle was rear-ended on Sunday at Lake Mead Parkway and Grand Cadence Drive. 36-year-old Daryl Smith was the driver of the other vehicle. He now faces charges of DUI causing death and reckless driving. Review Journal's Rosanna Romero highlights the story of a young girl who's looking for her forever home. Happy, friendly, and affectionate are just a few words to describe legacy. She brings joy to a room when she walks in with her strong smile and playful expressions. Here's a little bit about legacy who's looking for her forever home. I like jumping and I can touch this guy. So I think anybody watching, and if you guys see Legacy and this is a little girl that sparks something within you, I think you need to call in because she's definitely one that's going to bring joy, laughter, um, a lot of fun moments. You know, she's one to definitely brighten a household, energy in a home. To see her complete story, go to our channel here on YouTube. Look for Las Vegas Review Journal in Espanol. If you are interested in adopting a child future in a Find My Forever profile, please email the address shown on your screen. Back to you. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Clear skies are in your forecast for tonight with light winds across the valley. Evening lows will be in the mid-30s. We'll also see clear and sunny skies on Wednesday with light winds and temperatures reaching 52 degrees. Winds will pick up Thursday morning and continue through the evening with gusts reaching as high as 22 miles per hour in parts of the valley. We'll see some showers in the early hours, but they should be gone by Friday. Friday. In business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability. Have you ever wondered how some Las Vegas hotel rooms can be so cheap? Well, with the arrival of winter, many hotel casino operators are launching special seasonal pricing to encourage visitors to come back. And according to a hospitality professor at UNLV, hotel room pricing changes in response to the supply and demand in the market. 1.3 million visitors are expected to attend events this year at the Las Vegas Convention Center. The facility will host the city's four largest trade shows, plus 51 other scheduled events. That includes the four-day consumer electronics trade show, which kicked off today and is expected to attract some 130,000 people coming to Las Vegas. Sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. Former UNLV quarterback and 2023 Mountain West Freshman of the Year, Jaden Maiava, is transferring to Georgia. Maiava was 7-2 as a starter and helped lead the Rebels to their first Mountain West Championship game appearance and the Guaranteed Rate Bowl, the program's first bowl game since 2013. He threw for 3,085 yards, 17 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions. He also rushed for 277 yards and three touchdowns.
In health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Nevadans have less than a week to enroll in a health insurance plan through Nevada Health Link during 2024 open enrollment. The last day to enroll in a plan at NevadaHealthLink.com is January 15th. You can use the website to explore up to 163 different health insurance options available on the marketplace. And if you or someone you know needs help enrolling, you can get in touch with licensed professionals by visiting the Find Local Assistance tab or by calling the number on your screen. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The college football season ended Monday with Michigan winning the national championship. And Caesar Sportsbook is already looking ahead to 2024. Alabama quarterback Jalen Milrow is the 8-1 favorite to win the Heisman Trophy next year. Texas QB Quinn Ewers is 10-1. Georgia QB Carson Beck is 12-1. Ole Miss QB Jackson Dart is 15 to 1, and Texas backup Arch Manning is a 125 to 1 long shot. In entertainment news, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's with live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Here's Review Journal's John Casalomitas with more Las Vegas entertainment news. Luke Bryan is a showman and he is also a gambling man and he showed as much during his finale Saturday night at Resorts World Theater by inviting up the Swing Shift Dice team from the Resorts World Casino on stage to take a final bow. There was a half dozen members of that team came out and Brian said he's had a lot of bad nights at the Resorts World Casino, but Friday night before his finale was a good night and they all celebrated accordingly. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.